Hello, my old school soul food fans, followers, subscribers. Chef Jeffrey back with another video here, as you saw by the preview screen. Today we'll be making something I definitely, we all grew up on. If you old school soul food, old school country, or just old school back in the day, kids these days don't know about this dish. Today I'll be making some old school goulash. I think I had this a couple of times a month growing up because I think it's a way to stretch food and feed a lot of people with very few ingredients. So all this really ground meat and macaroni. Some people call it chili mac. You can bake yours. Today I'm gonna just show you the stove method. I'm not gonna bake mine in the oven at the end with cheese, but you can do that. So what I'm gonna do, right now I'm gonna put my pasta on. And I use large elbow spaghetti, but I like to see the macaroni in my dishes. So I always buy the Lord Elbow Macaroni Pasta. So I got a uh, pasta pot heating up back here. And I'm gonna put the macaroni in and get it started. It don't take, it don't take long at all to cook. So I got that going on. Spread it around here. Okay, now, I'm getting this pot here. I'm gonna saute my onions. Bell peppers. And then around in there. You kind of get them sweated up a little. You don't have to, you can use garlic if you want to. Like I said, if y'all follow me enough, y'all know I don't use a lot of garlic. I just don't like the taste of it. Uh, everybody's different. You can add garlic to yours if you want. I'm just not a garlic fan. Okay, now I'm on my ground beef here. And I want to brown this off. Move this over. But like I say, I hate that. I don't want to ramble along with my back in the day stories because them youngsters, a lot of youngsters say, oh, you always got back in the day stories, back in the day stories. Well, that's the way it is. I let y'all youngsters know. But seriously, growing up, this is one of my favorite meals my mom used to cook. I mean, who doesn't like ground meat? And uh, who doesn't? It's like the dairy sauce, really, in some way, and macaroni. And who doesn't like macaroni growing up as a kid? That's a fun noodle for kids. And like I say, this was a way back in the day to, uh, to stretch a meal. Make it go further. The pasta, you know, pasta was one of the main staples. That's just like beans and rice. That was a staple growing up because it'll fill you up and it goes a long way. So anyway, we're gonna let this ground off here, this ground meat. It takes about 15 minutes to let it brown off. And I'm gonna be right back when it's brown off and I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna show you how this meal comes together. But we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Uh, the ground meat is browned up here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add our diced tomatoes to this. A couple of cans. I got some tomato sauce I'm going to add to this, too. All of the tomato goodness in here. Stir this up here really slowly. And I don't drain this because I don't have a lot of grease in my, uh, people ask me that. You don't drain? No, because I use an 80-20 blend and it's very little oil to it. My ground meat is 80-20. So I don't, I don't, uh, drain my ground meat. I don't have a lot of oil in the bottom. Okay. Now we're gonna, uh, y'all know I add my tomato paste for the, for the body. Thickens it up. Gives it a nice color. Just gives it some body there. So, add a tomato paste to this. Get it stirred up in there. Look at that coming together. All them goodness. Got tomatoes in there. Look at that. And that way, the tomato paste makes it not where well, it's not so loose and watery. Because you want the sauce to cling to the pasta. You ever eaten pasta where the pot, the sauce is so watery 
that it just it just goes on. It doesn't cling to the pasta. And you don't have a sauce with every bite. With my sauce, you definitely gonna when you have when I add it to the pasta, it's definitely gonna cling to the pasta. It's not gonna uh, just run all over the plate. So we are gonna get all that incorporated, made a pay. I'm gonna add a little sugar to this to balance it, to balance out the tomato paste, which is bitter. So I add a little sugar to that. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper in a second here. I'm gonna cut my macaroni off here. It's definitely ready, oh yeah. It's definitely ready. And I'm gonna drain that in just a second, and then I'm gonna pour it right in the pot. First, we're gonna get this cooked off here. Like I say, the meat is completely done. So all we're doing is bringing the tomatoes up to temperature. I'm gonna add a little salt, pepper in here. When people ask about my salt and pepper, all it is is one part uh, pepper and three parts salt. So for instance, if I use a tablespoon of white pepper, I'm gonna use three tablespoons of kosher salt. What I make by big batches, I make a, I get a, 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 a I'm so uncomfortable. I use a fourth a cup of uh, white pepper and I use three fourths cups of kosher salt. So I make big batches of it at a time. Let me taste this. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, this is good. Mm, this is very good. Now, last thing I'm gonna add, Oh, no, this it out. You don't have to add this, but I add kernel corn to mine. Cause I love corn. Y'all know been following me enough. You know I love me some corn. My favorite vegetable. So I love corn in mine. Okay. And what we gonna do? I'm gonna let this simmer about 10, 15 minutes. Let all the flavors get together. And then we're gonna come back. We're gonna add our pasta to this. We're gonna have some awesome goulash. So we will be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. This has been cooking about 15 minutes. The spray was all good and married together. I'm gonna taste it one more time before I add the pasta. Oh yeah. And another tip. You wanna slightly over season, not much. You wanna slightly over Salty, just slightly, because what's gonna happen, when I add this pasta in there, it has all this water and stuff still in it, it's gonna balance out the salt and the pepper in the seasoning. You don't wanna have it too under seasoning, even though you can go back and season it again, but you can entirely over season it, and then uh, when you add your pasta, it'll balance it off. Okay. Now if it's a, uh, oh yeah, pasta's ready here. Now we're gonna drain this. Get this here out of the way. I'm gonna drain the water off of here. Get that drain there good. There it is. I'm pretty much turn this off. Yeah, this shoot, this is a meal in itself right here. Look at that. You can eat that out the bowl right there. The soup, if you want to. Okay, now we're gonna add our pasta to this. Little by little here. Let's incorporate this little by little. Okay, let's roll it over there. There we go. Can't go wrong with this. Big old pot of goulash. Like I said, let that pasta soak up all that meat. Yeah. There we go. That's why I like the big noodles. See them big pasta noodles? You can see what you got. I don't like, even when I make my mac and cheese, as y'all know, I like a lot, and I like the big pasta. Okay. Add the rest of this in there. And it definitely will all fit in there. Believe me, I made this too many times. part here it ain't gonna last at all long my friends and neighbors come over it's 
whole pot is gonna be uh, completely gone. Now what I'm doing, I'm just stirring it over and under. Get all the meat in there. Mm -hmm. Make sure all the meat is incorporated. Then I'm going to check my seasoning one more time. Like I say, with the, uh, like, when, like I say, when I add the pasta, it kind of balances it off the, uh, the, the seasoning. So I want to taste it one more time here. Let's see here what we got here. Mm, that's all real right there. Mm-hmm. On your rope. Look at that, so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna put something in the bowl here. I'm gonna taste this sucker here. Okay? Some goodness like that. Look at that. Like I said, you can bake this off too in the oven with some cheese if you want to. But I eat mine just like this. Look at that. See that? Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. All right, y'all, try this recipe. Give this recipe thumbs up. Please comment. Very easy, very simple. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.